the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands as a remarkable testament to human ingenuity in the ongoing quest for understanding our universe. Launched on December 25, 2021, from the Guiana Space Center, this state-of-the-art observatory represents a significant leap in space observation capabilities. Much like its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST is designed to operate primarily in the infrared spectrum, allowing it to look deeper into space and observe phenomena that are invisible or obscured to other telescopes. At the heart of the JWST is its massive primary mirror, which spans 6.5 meters, 21.3 feet, in diameter and is composed of 18 gold-coated hexagonal segments. This mirror is far larger than Hubble's, enabling the JWST to collect more light and capture higher-resolution images. The gold coating enhances its ability to reflect infrared light, which is crucial for observing distant objects and features that emit primarily in the infrared range. One of the JWST's most notable features is its suite of cutting-edge scientific instruments, each designed to tackle specific tasks in unraveling the mysteries of the universe. The near-infrared camera and IR cam, and the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, are two of its key tools. An IR cam captures high-resolution images in near-infrared light, aiding the study of star, galaxy, and planetary system formation in unprecedented detail. MIRI, on the other hand, operates in the mid-infrared range, perfect for studying cooler objects like exoplanets and debris disks. This instrument allows scientists to examine the chemical composition of exoplanet atmospheres, search for organic molecules, and explore conditions that could support life beyond our solar system. In addition to its imaging capabilities, the JWST is equipped with a near-infrared spectrograph and IR spec, which analyzes the light from celestial objects by breaking it down into its component wavelengths. This process, known as spectroscopy, provides vital information about the chemical makeup, temperature, and motion of these objects. An IR spec will be crucial for studying galaxies, stellar evolution, and the origins of planetary systems. The Fine Guidance Sensor slash Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, FGS slash Nyris, is another versatile instrument on board the JWST. It serves a dual purpose ensuring precise pointing and stabilization of the telescope during observations to maintain sharp images, and enabling advanced scientific studies, such as exoplanet transmission spectroscopy. By measuring the dimming of starlight as exoplanets pass in front of their host stars, FGS Nyris can provide valuable insights into the composition of exoplanet atmospheres and their potential habitability. The JWST's advanced capabilities are complemented by its innovative sunshield, a five-layer structure made of materials like captain, designed to protect the telescope's delicate instruments from the sun's heat and light. This shield is essential for keeping the telescope at extremely low temperatures, near absolute zero, about minus 266 degrees Celsius or minus 447 degrees Fahrenheit, which is critical for observing faint infrared signals without interference from the telescope's own heat. The JWST is positioned at the second Lagrange point, L2 approximately 1.5 million kilometers, about 930,000 miles, from Earth. This stable location offers several advantages over telescopes in Earth's orbit. Unlike ground-based telescopes, which are affected by Earth's day-night cycle and atmospheric disturbances, the JWST can continuously observe the universe without interruptions. Its position at L2 also allows for an unobstructed view of the sky free from the interference of Earth's atmosphere and Moon, enabling precise, uninterrupted observations of distant stars, galaxies, and cosmic phenomena. The JWST's ambitious scientific mission encompasses a broad range of goals, aimed at answering fundamental questions about the origins, evolution, and structure of the universe. One of its primary objectives is to study the formation and development of galaxies over vast timescales. By observing galaxies across different epochs, the JWST will trace how these cosmic structures evolved from their violent beginnings into the diverse array of shapes and sizes we see today. It will also focus on understanding the role of dark matter and dark energy in shaping galaxy formation and development, two mysterious components of the universe that exert gravitational effects on large scales but whose exact nature remains one of the greatest puzzles in modern astronomy.
Another major scientific goal of the JWST is to investigate the birth and evolution of stars and planetary systems. Unlike visible light, which is blocked by dense clouds of gas and dust, infrared radiation can penetrate these clouds, offering a clearer view of stellar nurseries. The JWST will study star formation in various environments, from large star-forming regions to quieter stellar nurseries, providing insights into the processes that govern star formation and the diversity of planetary systems that arise around them. The JWST is also poised to revolutionize our understanding of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars beyond our solar system. By analyzing the atmospheres of these distant worlds and searching for biomarkers such as water vapor, methane, and oxygen, the telescope will assess their potential habitability. This marks a significant step toward answering the age-old question of whether life exists elsewhere in the universe. Additionally, the JWST will extend its reach beyond our local cosmic neighborhood to the very edge of the observable universe. By observing the faintest and most distant galaxies, the telescope will peer back in time to the epoch of reionization, a key period when the first stars and galaxies formed and began to illuminate the universe. Through deep field observations and spectroscopic surveys, the JWST will capture the light from these ancient cosmic beacons, revealing their properties and uncovering the sequence of events that led to the universe we inhabit today. Beyond its scientific objectives, the JWST represents a triumph of international collaboration and technological advancement, the result of a partnership between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, with contributions from various other organizations. Its launch and ongoing operations showcase the collective efforts of countless scientists, engineers, and technicians working together to push the boundaries of space exploration and deepen our understanding of the cosmos. Revelations have been instrumental in refining the measurement of the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant. This constant, which reflects the universe's rate of expansion relative to the distance of galaxies from us, was first determined by astronomer Edwin Hubble in the 1920s. While Hubble's observations have helped calibrate this constant through subsequent measurements, different methods have produced varying values, creating an area of ongoing research without a definitive answer. Despite these challenges, Hubble's work has significantly expanded our understanding of the cosmos, providing awe-inspiring imagery that has captivated the public and deepened our comprehension of cosmic phenomena. Building upon Hubble's legacy and aiming to overcome its limitations, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was conceived to push the boundaries of space exploration even further. While Hubble has made groundbreaking discoveries, it is approaching the end of its operational life and lacks the ability to observe in the infrared spectrum, a crucial range for understanding the evolution of galaxies and the universe itself. The JWST is designed to extend our cosmic exploration beyond Hubble's capabilities, equipped with advanced optics and infrared sensors capable of detecting light from the earliest stars and galaxies. This next-generation telescope promises to provide unprecedented views of the universe, tackling key astronomical questions such as the formation of stars and planetary systems, the characterization of exoplanet atmospheres, and the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. The launch of the JWST is a remarkable international endeavor, involving NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. Initially slated for launch in 2018, it faced several delays and challenges during development. The JWST is positioned at a location known as the second Lagrange point, L2, approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This orbit offers several advantages for space observation, including a stable thermal environment and minimal interference from Earth and the Moon. The JWST features a massive primary mirror, 6.5 meters in diameter, composed of 18 gold-coated hexagonal segments. This mirror is significantly larger than Hubble's 2.4-meter mirror, allowing the JWST to capture more light and produce higher-resolution images. The gold coating is crucial for reflecting infrared light, which is emitted by the most distant and ancient objects, enabling the telescope to peer into the early universe. Equipped with an array of cutting-edge scientific instruments, the JWST is designed to capture and analyze light from the farthest reaches of the universe. The Near-Infrared Camera NIRCam, 
is capable of detecting faint light from distant galaxies and stars, while the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, will investigate star and planetary system formation, as well as study the chemical composition of exoplanet atmospheres. The near-infrared spectrograph, NIR-SPEC, will disperse light from astronomical objects into its constituent colors, providing essential data on their composition, temperature, and motion. These instruments will collaborate to answer pivotal questions in astronomy and offer groundbreaking insights into the universe's origins and evolution. The JWST also features a fine guidance sensor slash near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, FGS slash NIRIS, which will provide precise pointing and alignment, ensuring sharp images of celestial objects. This instrument will enable high-precision scientific observations, such as exoplanet transmission spectroscopy, which measures the light absorbed by an exoplanet as it transits its star, revealing information about the planet's atmosphere and potential habitability. To protect the telescope's instruments from the sun's heat and light, the JWST is equipped with a complex sunshield made of five layers of specialized materials. This shield is critical for maintaining the instruments at temperatures as low as minus 266 degrees Celsius, necessary for their infrared observations. The development of the JWST has been a monumental technological and engineering challenge, requiring international collaboration and the expertise of thousands of scientists, engineers and specialists. Its launch represents a major milestone in space exploration and promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. By building on Hubble's legacy, the JWST will pave the way for future space missions, offering new insights into the cosmos and inspiring the next generation of scientists and explorers. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, represents humanity's collective desire to explore and understand the universe. Its development overcame significant technical challenges, including the creation of precise optics capable of operating in the harsh environment of space and the design of intricate maneuvers required to deploy its sun shield and unfold its enormous mirror. Launched on December 25, 2021, from the Guiana Space Center, the JWST marks a new era in space exploration, offering the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos and inspiring future generations of scientists, engineers and pioneers. As it embarks on its mission to uncover the universe's secrets, the telescope carries humanity's hopes and aspirations to explore the unknown, expand our horizons, and deepen our connection to the vast, awe-inspiring universe that surrounds us. The JWST is a remarkable feat of collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, and is named in honor of James E. Webb, a key figure in NASA's history. This groundbreaking mission builds on NASA's rich legacy in space exploration, paving the way for more ambitious future endeavors. Yet, the JWST's launch was not an isolated event. It follows in the footsteps of the Hubble Space Telescope, which was launched in 1990. Hubble revolutionized our understanding of the universe, providing breathtaking imagery and pioneering scientific discoveries that extended our exploration beyond Earth. Hubble's primary mission was to overcome the limitations of Earth's atmosphere, which distorts and blocks the light collected by ground-based telescopes. By observing space from orbit, Hubble achieved unprecedented clarity and accuracy in imaging distant celestial objects. The success of the Hubble Space Telescope was the result of decades of research and previous space endeavors, such as orbital observatories and the Apollo moon landings. These earlier missions demonstrated the advantages of space-based observation, laying the foundation for Hubble's development. Additionally, advancements in engineering, particularly in space operations and observational technology, were crucial in creating high-resolution cameras, spectrographs, and other specialized instruments that enabled Hubble to capture and analyze light from space with remarkable detail. Situated in low Earth orbit, approximately 340 miles, 550 kilometers, Above the Earth's surface, Hubble has provided iconic images and made significant discoveries across a wide array of astronomical fields. Notably, in 1995, Hubble observed a seemingly empty patch of sky for 10 days, revealing thousands of galaxies in a small section of the sky, showcasing the vastness and diversity of the universe. In 1995, Hubble also captured the iconic image of the pillars of creation within the Eagle Nebula showing towering columns of gas and dust where new stars are being born.
between 2003 and 2004, Hubble produced the ultra-deep field image, revealing galaxies that formed soon after the Big Bang. Hubble has also made groundbreaking contributions to the study of exoplanets, detecting signs of water and organic compounds, which suggest the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. It has closely monitored the closest supernova, SN 1987A, providing invaluable insights into the life cycle of stars. Overall, the Hubble Space Telescope has played a critical role in confirming and refining key cosmological theories, such as the Big Bang and the expansion of the universe. Through its observations of distant galaxies and cosmic microwave background radiation, Hubble has provided strong evidence supporting the theory of universal expansion, particularly through its detection of the redshift phenomenon, which shows that galaxies farther away are receding faster, confirming the hypothesis of an ever-expanding universe.